Jessica, and one of the things I want to focus on for 2020 is reading more. So, let me kick off the series by saying I love to read. Um, reading is one of the things that brought me into writing in the first place. And um, I love reading paranormal romances as well. Young adult, new adult, really doesn't matter. Urban fantasy, everything. And one of the one of the books or series that I like reading is Carolyn Sparks' Love at Stake series. And I've been rereading those, so those are stuff I would reread all the time. And that's what I've been doing, and I want to do reviews on them as well, because this is her first one, How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire. It stars Roman and Shayna, and it's so cute, too. Um, Roman needed a dentist, and there was Shayna Shane, there. So, it's about how they fell in love, and how he needed a dentist, and... He put his teeth into something he shouldn't have, and it's a very cute book. You should check it out, definitely. I'd suggest that. Um, especially if you like paranormal romances. This book is pretty laugh out loud funny as well. And I like how they have like a love-hate relationship at first. It's like she didn't want to trust him, but she does in the end anyway, and then some stuff develops and um wrenches get thrown in, like the fact that Roman has a harem, and the fact that he's a vampire, so she has to adjust all those, and it's just a cute little book that shows how their relationship progresses. I love Carolyn Sparks' books. Um, that's kind of what encouraged me to try, like, third person, because I noticed with this book that she takes a lot of time to describe the scenery, but not too much, and she describes, like, the character's feelings, but, but she doesn't do overdo it and stuff. That's why I was just like, maybe I should try it in third person. So I can just try to feel out the characters and maybe switch viewpoints to as well. Kind of inspired me to try something new. So I like it. You should check it out. Especially if you like paranormal romances and it's clean. It's it's not really dirty, dirty. She doesn't go into too bad descriptions. So it's one of those cute little paranormal romance books. You can find it quirky, campy, cast the characters, danger, romance, and has everything. And vampires as well. Funny thing about Roman is he's like one of the main characters who, um, you can actually see how like everything develops in later books as well. That's one of the things I love about the Love at Six series. The characters come back in future books and other books, so that's what you'll see a lot of it. And um, I love reading this book, and you should definitely check it out. So yeah, I mean, it is a good book. I've like read it at least like two or three times at this point. Seriously. <clears throat> it's one of those things where you just want to get a thing of wine and just binge read. I do that a lot. I've, I've done that before, too. Or I did an experiment called Red Drunk at It Sober. Um, don't do that because you will know. I'm pretty sure that's one of the ones that I had to, like, trunk some of it. But, oh well. And I'll be doing reviews of each of the books as well and some other series. Um... I'm going to make 2020 my year of books, because I like books, and everything about books. But I will see you in the next video, and hopefully the next video, I will do unboxing my book. Bye!